guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides. I'm here in New York City for the New York Auto Show, but guess what? We have some time with this vehicle right here. What is it? This is the all new 2024 Mustang, and guess what? This is the new Mustang Dark Horse. But before we jump in and meet the chief engineer and go for a little ride, let's talk about what's going on here. The Mustang. It's been around since 1964 and a half, and it's kind of interesting that we're here in New York because remember the Mustang made its debut at the New York World's Fair. What's fascinating is that over the years, the Mustang has really stayed true to itself, being that kind of car that fits a lot of different personalities, but also, of course, touches on performance. Now, you've already heard the Shelby GT350, you've heard the Boss 302s, the bullets and everything in between. The Dark Horse is a new nameplate, new for 2024, that's gonna be there with those other icons when it comes to performance. Because at the end of the day, this is the most powerful five liter GT-based V8 on a Mustang. And we're gonna be able to pop the hood and show you. But before we get underneath the hood, let's talk about some of the special touches on what makes a Dark Horse very special. Right off the bat, I love having this in Oxford white, especially out in the sunshine here. Up front, you're gonna get a little bit of this dark gray finish, and I think that with the white, it really kind of breaks up what's going on at the front of the business. That full LED lighting like we showed you at the Detroit Auto Show last year, and when we had private time with the Mustang GT, this dark horse is even more aggressive. Full functionality because this is that track-focused car, Coming across the front, they really just nailed the style of the Mustang with showing the different touches. And people are walking by and they're taking notice of this pony car. Now remember, when it comes to the Dark Horse, it's not just about making extra horsepower. You're gonna have that Magna Ride suspension that's gonna be fine-tuned for the track. Of course, you're gonna work on different coolers to help lower the temps, not only of the engine, but also the differential out back. Now, when we rise up onto the hood, I absolutely am in love with this optional stripe kit, especially on the Oxford White. Looks fantastic. You will be able to have your choice of getting it painted on or vinyl, but definitely with the gray and that gloss black in the center with the functional heat extractor, it looks outstanding. Now, as we come around the bend, when it comes to performance, it's not just horsepower, it also plays into wheels and tires. And this one having the handling package, you're actually gonna get a wider wheel than the standard dark horse. This is a 19 inch wheel, 305 on the width up front, 30 series sidewall. You got rotors that are over 14 inches in diameter. And I love the new blue, the grabber blue on the Brembo caliper six piston with the Mustang pony there. And you'll notice that of course, we're now using these P Pirelli P0 Trofeo RS tires. Very track focused tire to give you that ultimate stick, give you the grip. And then, like I said, the retuned Magna Ride suspension. And of course, you're gonna have beefier suspension bits like the anti-roll bars, like all the chassis straightening. Now, coming down the side, you do have that new badge. First time on a Mustang, the Dark Horse. And then working our way towards the rear of the vehicle, this is where that S650 platform, the style, one of my favorite parts is how they keep this nice flared fender that's really a traditional aspect of a Mustang, really flaring out. You can see those amazing, like I said, these are P0 Trofeo RS tires. First time, 315, more rubber to meet the road. And then when you get to the back, of course, you're gonna have a fully functional rear spoiler. Love the way the stripes go from the hood onto the roof and on the trunk area. And then of course, when it comes to the way that they work the back, this is probably one of my favorite parts of the new Mustang. Until you see it in person, it may not make 100% sense to you, but really the, love the way they angled that. And especially with the traditional tri-bar taillights, of course, you're gonna have that massive exhaust that's gonna make that V8 sing. We're talking about 500 horsepower out of a five liter, and you have your choice of a 10-speed automatic or a six-speed Tremec manual transmission, and of course, all the gearing to get the power to the ground. But why don't we go ahead, first time, let's pop the hood and take a look at the heart of this dark horse. All right, guys, it's not about what you know, it's about who you know, and definitely we know the right people to get us access to this. This is the first time that we are seeing underneath the hood 
of the Dark Horse. So what do we have? We have that fourth gen, five liter, naturally aspirated V8, the Coyote platform, now pumping out 500 horsepower. You'll notice not just one throttle body, but two massive throttle bodies. I love what they have done with the engine cover, obviously touching back with the history, powered by Ford on the side. You got your intake runners. You got that beefy strut tower brace to stiffen up the front end with the Mustang Dark Horse badge. This is what the car is about. It's not just about the driving experience, not only about the sound, but when you go to Cars and Coffee, you go to your local car show, you pop the hood, and this is the jewel that lies underneath it. But you know what? If you're ready, I'm ready. Let's meet Lori, the chief engineer, and go for a little spin in the Dark Horse. All right, guys, we are inside this 2024 Dark Horse, and I'm here with Lori, the chief engineer. Thank you, Lori, for taking some time to showcase this amazing vehicle. Lots of performance. No problem, awesome. 500 horsepower. Horsepower. Yes. We got an all new interior. All new interior. 13.9 inch infotainment system, 12.3 inch digital gauge cluster, and we have the new electric drift brake system. Yes, 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 yes. We collaborated with Von Getten Jr. That's awesome. Awesome. Well, he knows drifting, that's for sure. <laughs> yes, he does. Formula Drift Champion. Yes, so, definitely. Yep, and the digital gauge cluster, if you haven't seen it, is amazing. Fully Absolutely, customizable. Yes. So we know Mustang owners love to accessorize and customize. And I think with this, this Mustang, even more so. Yes. Because not only can we customize the digital displays, but also colors of stitching, colors of brake calipers, whatever you want. But I love the sound of that V8. Yeah, it's pretty irresistible. Yeah. <laughs> so Mustang has always had that distinctive exhaust. Sound. Sure. You close your eyes and you hear a Mustang go by and you're like, that's a Mustang. Definitely. Nothing's changed here. Well, and, and what, I like, what I like about the Mustang too is that everybody has a Mustang story, even if they didn't own one. Like their next door neighbor had one, yep. their friend in high school. Yep. You know, all Absolutely. sorts of it's it's really yeah. interesting how the Mustang is more than just a culture a car culture icon, but really just Americana Absolutely. when you look at it. Absolutely. Yep. Everybody has a story. I like to say that same exact Yeah, line. definitely. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. I learned to drive a manual transmission on a Mustang. That's awesome. GT there you go. 16 years old stalling the vehicle left yeah, I know, right? <laughs> well, and the great news, guys, is that we're in this dark horse that has the Tremec six-speed. I know that is the way that I would option it, and I'm so proud of Ford sticking to their guns and making sure that they have the 10-speed automatic, which is a pretty damn good transmission. I mean, yep. the way it shifts, but also nice to have that driving engagement of the six-speed manual, especially the Tremec. Yeah, the Tremec is an amazing six-speed. And as you know, it's in our GT350. Yes. Awesome. Awesome. Yes, definitely. And there's nothing quite like driving a manual transmission. Yeah. You're so connected to the vehicle. Of course. Connected to the experience. Well, I think one of the things that we were focusing on at the Chicago Auto Show where we first got into the dark horse mm -hmm. was that 3D printed shift knob. Yep. The titanium, titanium shift, shift knob. knob. First time yep. on a Mustang. Yes. So first it's just the little ever. touches like that that I think make the car stand out. And what I'm noticing sitting here is everywhere you're looking, it really feels like you guys brought it up another notch. Yep. Yep, we got the carbon fiber accents. We've got the indigo blue stitching. Yeah, that's really nice. Throughout. 
ties it all together, especially with the blue titanium. Yes. Knob. We've got a unique IP badge with the chassis number. That's so cool. I think that gives those special course. touches. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. And of course, the Recaro seats, which are which, which, optional, but they're fantastic, and they've got their own unique. Which is yeah, the indigo blue and, and all that. Yeah. Yep. yep. So the color and material team did a great job making a complete package. Well, and I think I think what's what's interesting too is a lot of people until they sit in the Recaros, they think that it's going to be like a vice grip. Mm -hmm. It's not as it doesn't like hurt you. Like you feel supported. You definitely yep. got lateral G's and uh, you know be able to handle the lateral G forces. But it's not. I don't feel too like I don't feel uncomfortable. Like it feels. Here we are sitting in traffic in New York, and I feel like it feels good. Yeah. Yeah. Enjoy it. That's right. Enjoy the drive. That's what I love about Mustang. I always say to people who are like, well, why Mustang? I'm like, because it's fun. Yeah. Mustang is the experience. Like I, when I go in my Mustang, I'm driving. Sure. I just want to go drive. Yeah. That's, I'm not going you know, yeah. You don't even look for a destination. It's sort of like when, when I was a kid, you know, we get on our bikes, you just ride around. Yeah. You really have nowhere to go. And yeah. I think that's kind of makes that connection to when you're a exactly. kid having that ability to just Go wherever you want, just for the heck of it. Exactly. And then I personally love the convertible. Yeah. So we've got the convertible on both the EcoBoost and the GT. That is, yeah, that's and that's definitely, I think that covers something for everybody. Yeah, absolutely. So it's like you don't have to go full all-in performance like the Dark Horse if you don't want to or if your your budget doesn't allow, but they have there's other options, Yep. which is nice. Yep. A lot of other options and there's tons of ways to customize we have all kinds of different interior options and inside like i said a fully customizable screen so that's really cool they have something called my color oh yeah oh yeah totally change the look of the screen very cool you like this vehicle is the first mustang that now has over the air capability so it gives us unlimited potential of what we could do on these screens. Wow, the that's so nice that's kind of a cool feature too well and it helps it you know stay more up to date Yep. Where everything isn't just going to be outdated. Like it could get those over there updates mm -hmm. and changes and. Yep. 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 And a lot of the features on the new Mustang are really targeting that next gen enthusiast. Sure. So the, the you know the Gen Z, sure. millennials, all those people that are thinking maybe I want a sports car. Yeah, you got to pass the torch. Yeah. Got to keep it going. Absolutely. <laughs> We've got some really cool features that are going to really appeal to that generation. I tell you, I'm loving the steering wheel too. I mean, the shape yeah, of it, the flat, flat bottom. bottom. Yep. Really, really this nice. This is a suede wrapped. Love so it. It's just a great, especially if you're on track. Sure, of right, course. It really handles fantastic. Also handles great in New York traffic. Yeah. <laughs> Stop well, I'm, I'm noticing that the, the clutch is, is not too heavy. It's no. not like killing you. No. So, no. which is nice. And I know that from driving many different Mustangs, including my own Shelby that has the Tremec. It, it doesn't, it's not a heavy clutch. No. Now which it's is a nice. Really easy manual transmission. Yeah, it really is. That's what I think about the Fox body that I learned on, and it had an incredibly heavy clutch. Yeah, I remember the Fox body. Did. Point, <laughs> like you know, you just you missed it, like yeah, and you, you stalled. So this one is pretty forgiving. Definitely, it's just really easy to drive and fun. Definitely, I remember back in the in in the day when I was in high school. For some reason, on a Fox body, if you try to speed the shift from second to third, mm -hmm. it. Sometimes you'd miss it, yep. but with this Tremec, it's like a hot knife through butter. Yeah. It's just so yep. smooth and crisp. Yep. And it's forgiving. Yeah. If you're in a gear that you maybe shouldn't be in, it kind of is okay. It manages it. So with the Dark Horse, what do you think to you is that one thing that's just going to blow people away? With is you think it's simply just the, the horsepower, or you think they're going to take into realization the whole big package? or? Yeah, I mean, you know. 500 horsepower is huge. Sure. So that is kind of the, the um, hallmark sure. of the dark horse. But to me, the thing I love is just the whole package. Yeah. It's such a great package from the exterior styling to the interior Definitely. styling. The performance is second to none. So we think about Mustang Essence, it's all sure. about styling, it's about performance, and it's about fun. And the dark horse delivers on all three That's aspects. Yeah, that definitely. And and I, from what I understand, pricing is going to be starting on the dark horse around fifty nine thousand and change. Yeah, we say about sixty. Sixty with delivery yeah. and destination. And change. then obviously you yeah. add all the goodies on, and then it could. Yeah. Because you could even get carbon fiber. We we saw the the carbon fiber wheels, the optional wheels at the Chicago Auto Show, yep. and those looked 
really those killer. Are sick. Yeah. Yep, those are sick. <laughs> yes. Yeah. There's all kinds of options, and that's one of the things Mustang I think always does really well is we have a huge variety sure. of things you can do with it. Sure. So you really make it your own. That's Mustang awesome. owners love to customize. Oh, their definitely. Own vehicle. You'll never see two the same, right? It's nope. like. Nope. So. When I think you guys are given those new those owners buying the new s650 platform the ability because you got the different brake caliper colors and everything yeah. else so there's yeah. customization that could actually start from step one the day of purchase yep. after you order it and spec it out the way you want to spec it out yep yep you got the blue red black 17 that's 18, cool yeah i think that's great brakes. done all kinds of cool things the one i ordered yeah red red nice red calipers i've got the red exterior gt well that 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 that, that just perfect. that uh was going to be my question so if you, for you red mustang is where it's at i love red Mustang. there you go absolutely <laughs> absolutely it's fun yeah definitely and convertible well and, and i think I it, the this is a great vehicle of course too, yeah but, I, but I the, especially if you're perfect. like right now the temperature is perfect yeah for top down fun yeah yeah absolutely it's it's a release you know you have we all work and we're yeah. in the day and we're busy sure. and whatever and then to be able to just go out and drive yeah definitely awesome so which speaking of which i'm not very familiar with new york street so i'm just kind of <laughs> right, just, so you can let me know if i'm <laughs> i don't know where i'm going either so <laughs> oh, good. Tell where, we're gonna have yeah we're gonna yeah. i'm not really sure we ended up in jersey that's i know right yeah, yeah. <laughs> Why well, I know it, there's an area, there's a, a nice racetrack called Monticello here in New York that would be a great area to drive this dark that horse, that's for sure. Area. Yeah, unfortunately, the, the city traffic <laughs> does not showcase the performance. Of course. And uh, everything at this But what it is on. showcasing, what I'm noticing, are people looking yeah. and snapping their necks. Yeah. And it's interesting because I know Blue Ember is the dark horse color like that's yep. really what has been shown at all the auto shows but i'm telling you this oxford white it's gorgeous it's crisp yeah. and i love the the additional stripes yeah the stripes and the carbonized yeah accents it's beautiful it really you works it look like a stormtrooper yeah no definitely <laughs> no de i could definitely definitely see that yeah 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 the, the uh ember blue is really cool if you've ever seen it oh yeah because it's blue and then you walk around the other side and you see it very it's cool gold that's really, really cool. cool very cool so some neat advanced paint technology there to get that well very i appreciate cool. you taking time out of your busy schedule with the new york auto show and everything going on i know that this was definitely something that our viewers wanted to see more and more and we're definitely looking forward to the first drive event whenever that takes place because uh hey it's the mustang and it's still yeah still here and it still has the v8 as a availability Absolutely. brother other muscle cars are they're changing they're going ev so interesting but you guys have you got the 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 mach -E and we, and you got the, the naturally right. aspirated that's right we're lucky yeah we're lucky we yes have whole, we have a whole family of mustangs all the way from 100 percent ev to the v8 that's very true and everything in between so depending on what you want what you're looking for yeah. your budget your design of course yeah we've got something that's there. awesome yeah. well thank you again for thank you. this little ride and we're gonna wrap it up from new york see you in a second see ya all right guys crazy action here in new york city definitely want to thank the whole ford team for allowing us some time to meet Lori, the chief engineer and really get to know the dark horse just a little bit more let me know what you think for the price are you liking what ford is bringing to the table with this dark horse let me know in that comment section but if you're new to the channel you're on your way out hit that subscribe button i promise you it's worthwhile coming back for more if you are a subscriber thank you for being part of the radius rides family of course we got to give it up to lori risking life and limb to get this coverage right in the bike lane at this new york city strip crazy show us some love in the comment section thank you lori for all that you do and just like always guys i'll see you on the next ride